Hello again, welcome to Technability. We have a Nexus 7, new Nexus 7 running Android 4.3 stock, and we have an HTC One running 4.3 Google Play Edition. So you guys believe me that it's 4.3. Let's go to settings, about phone on both. Android Jelly Bean 4.3. So that's the latest and greatest in Jelly Bean Android technology. So let's exit out, see which one exits out faster. Okay, the Nexus one that again, it's optimized for the Nexus, so keep that in mind. We're just gonna do a few speed tests here, no benchmarks or anything like that. Uh, we're gonna do a few speed tests, see which one opens apps faster, closes apps faster. First thing we're gonna do before we do that, let's close out of everything. Okay, all right, so let's just go to settings here. All right, the HC one was a hair faster. Let's exit out. The Nexus was a hair faster. All right, let's go to Chrome on both. Okay, you can see that was about equal. Let's exit out of Chrome. About equal again. All right, let's go to the camera here on both. Where's the camera here? Oh, wow, that was, again, about equal. All right, let's exit out. Okay. Let's try YouTube on both. All right, where's YouTube here? Oops. Well, it's not really fair because there's no network. And plus, this is the new YouTube. This is still the old YouTube. But again, let's exit out. All right, let's try Gallery. Okay, let's see. G, Gallery. Wow, again, about equal on both. All right, let's exit out of Gallery. All right, let's try Hangouts. Yep, Nexus won that. Exit out of Hangouts. Again, let's do the multitasking. See, both are pretty smooth. All right, let's just go ahead and transition through screens here. Okay, you can see that. The notification bar, quick settings. I do the quick settings here. Quick settings here. You can see the quick settings on both devices. All right, if I open up the app drawer, same. If I take a widget, place it. Wow, they're almost about equal. These things are really almost about equal. Uh, let's try Google Play Music here on both. All right, so where is play music? Right there, play music, okay. Okay, exit out, let's check out the lock screens. All right, you can see both lock screens, obviously both utilize widgets. It's a bigger screen here, so I gotta do it from the top. Oops, I went to the camera. Go back to the lock screen here. All right, so we can unlock the device. And again, both are pretty equal in their speeds. Ridiculous, right? Quad core, quad core, both S Pros, uh, both two gigs of RAM. Okay. And everything else seems to run on both of them, again, on the handset and on the tablet, both seem to run equally as good as one another. So it's impressive. It's impressive to see the HTC One run just as good as what is stock built on the Nexus tablet. Uh, again, we didn't, you know, go through a lot of other apps, but let's just try some third-party apps here, like ES File Explorer. Wow, that's again just about equal. If we open a folder, <laughs> literally about even on that end. Uh, not many third-party apps here on the phone, but quite a few on the tablet. Speed-wise, both are super fast. No lag, no stutter in terms of just overall day-to-day -day operations, web browsing, opening apps, closing out of apps, everything is super fast. And if we just go to People, for example, you can see People. Okay, so again, opened up about equally as fast. Exit out of it. All right, we can just go ahead and open the clock widget here. Okay, go here. See that? That's really about equal. Uh, I, don't, I don't see a clear winner here unless you guys are seeing something I'm not. Um, everything, again, everything else in terms of both of these handsets runs super smooth. 4.3 is good because it has GPU acceleration that doesn't get bogged down with third-party apps. So that's the whole thing with OpenGL. So really they've improved quite a bit on that end. Uh, other than that, we could even try the Play Store. Again, I don't have a network connected here, but if we just open the Play Store. Okay, a little bit faster on the Nexus there. All right, if we, let's say, open, um, I don't know what else is there here. Let's do Google Now. Let's try Google Now on both. Again, there's no network, so I'm not going to be able to probably, likely not going to get a signal, but let's just try it anyway. Tell me the weather. It's 85 degrees and clear in Glendale. Very fast on the Nexus, again, uh, or, or in the HTC One. The Nexus, again, it's still searching for uh, signal because I only have one bar of Wi-Fi up there. 
but in terms of clarity and just the screens, this isn't very much of a conventional uh, comparison because you have a tablet and a phone, but you got a 1080p display with 468 pixels per inch. You got a pretty much a 1080p display here on the Nexus 7 inch, which renders 323 pixels per inch, and both are absolutely gorgeous. Looking at them side by side, it's really hard to tell much of a difference. Even though this has about you know 135 more pixels per inch, very very hard to tell a difference. And it actually, as a matter of fact, in some instances, the Nexus does look a little bit brighter in terms of its contrast, and both are up at 100% brightness. So you could see there, and you could see a display here. They're both at 100. So they're equal in that sense, but the Nexus looks just slightly a little bit brighter. But you may not be able to see that in the video necessarily, uh, but in any case, it is slightly brighter. Uh, otherwise, everything else looks pretty much good to go. If you guys are fans of stock Android and are fans of you know wanting or having the latest and greatest in mobile tech, get the Nexus tablet or get the HTC One, or just go ahead and flash the Google Play Edition or CyanogenMod Mod on your phone, you'll get stock Android. Uh, if you guys need assistance with that, I have plenty of how-to videos on the channel as well as on technability.com. Again, guys, if you wanna check out the Nexus 7 in more detail, check out the review, the Nexus 7 review that we have posted on the channel. If you wanna see Android 4.3 in more detail on the HTC One, we also have a video for that. Actually, what I'll do is I'll post the uh, annotation right here for the HTC One. I'll post the annotation right here for the Nexus 7 so you can check them out right there. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching TechNability. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out our channel, TechNability.com. We've got some great original content on there, updated daily. And again, I want to give a shout out to Jonathan, one of our uh, senior writers on TechNability.com, for contributing the Nexus 7 tablet. All right, thank you guys for watching. Have a safe week.